WTI futures, really an impressive gain today to end the week. December futures now flirting uh, with the recent uh, range highs that we saw even in the beginning of this week, uh, largely as China's da data overnight really overwhelmed expectations. Um, also, we saw a drop in the dollar today and a continued broad drop in the dollar, not just the dollar index, but just through all the majors, definitely supporting the oil price. A lot, a lot of traders thought today was more of a technical trade that uh, oil needed to get back to that 55, 56 area and that there was just oversold. It's been oversold for a while. Uh, but that said, uh, today's U.S. data was largely mixed uh, for the oil price. Uh, BLS headline uh, was good. Uh, wages on, underneath it all were a little bit controversial, but probably overall a little bit better than expected. Um, ISM numbers definitely um, underwhelmed expectations, but that was all offset by vice chair uh, of the FOMC's comments on the, the heft of the economy and uh, definitely all supporting the oil price. Um, the, the interesting thing with oil today was that it was, we saw a really sustained move. Um, option activity uh, was, was, was a little bit below average today, however, did, uh, was definitely consistent going into at least to the uh, late morning of Friday's session. Um, there were some pretty uh, large buyers of out of the money calls three months, six months out, both uh, three months and six months, um, and volatility was basically um, unchanged. Uh, on Friday. Other news that um, people are sifting through is a very important Gulf Coast crack spread dropped 11 percent today. Um, also U.S. field production remains, continues uh, and, and is remaining at uh, record levels, levels that we haven't seen and just people continue to wait for that to tail off. Definitely hasn't. Utilization continues at record levels.